This is Cindy Manier with a Doodoo -doo Book Creator. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create covers with the LCB Designer tool. To get to the tool, click on LCB Designer in our top menu. When you get to the page, the first thing you're going to want to do is select Design a Cover and set up your trim size. Then put in how many page numbers you have in your book so your cover will be sized correctly. I'm going to click on Add Guides so that I can see where my spine goes, where the front cover is, back cover is, and all the trim sizes. I'm going to start off by putting the background color in that I want for my cover. Now I'm going to start adding text. I have a file where I've already typed in all the text that I want in my document, so I'm just going to copy and paste it from there. Now I can move the text to where I want it. I can set the color of the text by clicking on Fill Color. I'm going to put it to white. I can change the font, so I'm going to pick a different font, and then I can go under Font Size and click on the little up arrow and make it bigger. If I knew exactly what font size I wanted, I could just type it in there. Next I have a graphic that I want to use, so I'm just going to drag and drop it onto my cover. And then I can resize it. You have to get to the little corner in order to resize the graphic. Then I want to add some more text to my front cover. I'm going to copy and paste it into the text block. Then I'm going to move it to where I want it to be on the front cover. Now I can highlight both the graphic and the text and set them both to white. Now I have my front cover pretty much the way I want it, so I'm going to start adding text to my back cover. For each text block, I click on Add Text and copy the text out of my document into the cover. For this text box, I'm going to change the alignment by clicking on Text Alignment and Left. After I get all the text added that I want, I can select all of the text boxes and change the color to white. Lastly, I'm going to drag in my logo and add in my website. I'm going to save this to my design so I can edit it again later if I want to use it as a basis for my next book. Then I can click on DL PDF to download the PDF and now it's all ready to upload to KDP. I'm going to show you another example that's going to demonstrate some of the other functionality of our LCB designer. I'm going to start by setting my background color and then I'm going to drag in a graphic. I'm going to resize it by clicking on the corner and just dragging and then I can move it to where I want and resize it a little bit more. Then I can use the buttons on the bottom to rotate my graphic. So the far left one is a flip horizontally, the middle one is a flip vertically, and the last one is rotate 90 degrees. Next I'm going to click on duplicate to get another copy of this graphic. And I'm going to flip it until I get it the way I want it, and then I'm going to drag it into the other corner. Next I want to click on Add Text because I want to add the title for my spine. And I'm going to change the color to white, and then click on Rotate 90 degrees. And I can move it around, make it the font size smaller to get it just right. I'm going to click on position, recenter selection to make sure that my spine text is right in the middle of my cover. Now I'm ready to download. Note that due to the images, the file size is going to be larger and it's going to take a little bit longer to process. There's my file, now it's all ready to upload to KDP. One of the other things you can do if you have a transparent ping is change the color of your graphic just by changing the image color. So I'm going to set this one to a white color. And then I can go and do the same thing on the other image. If I wanted, I could have selected both images and changed them together at the same time, the colors for both of them. 
Now I'm going to make this graphic be on all four corners. I'm going to start by making this one a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to go and delete the other one. You just click on the thing and click the trash can to delete it. Now I can duplicate it and rotate it and move it to the other corner. And I can do that to get the image in all four corners. Now I'm going to click on Save to your designs to save this cover so I can come back and edit it and use it for other covers later on. Then you can click on Account and Designs and you can go see the designs that you have saved. To edit one of your designs, all you have to do is click on the design on your design page and it will take you right to the editor. If you have any questions about creating covers with our LCB design tool, please ask them in our Facebook group or send me a message via my contact form on the website.